What? The dragon's here? Then it is time for me to fight! It's time for me to take down this dragon once and for all! Ooh. Got him, come on. Damn, dude. Get some. Gee, where have you been? I haven't seen you since Space Week. I called you for a very important reason, alright? What is it? What's going on? Logan, I need you to do a very important mission for me. I need you to sell my PCs. You want me to sell all your gaming gear? Logan, I don't need them anymore. I have Lineage 2 Revolution. Logan, do you realize this game is like a PC game on a phone? I don't even know how they did that. It's an MMORPG on your phone, Logan. Is this all you've been doing since Space Week? I mean, if you're talking about leveling up in an online MMORPG with beautiful graphics on my mobile phone and killing monsters, then yes! That is what I have been doing since Space Week, Logan. Lineage 2 Revolution might be the greatest game ever made. We haven't made it a video in like four days. It's so hard, Logan. Lineage 2 Revolution, the, the graphics are so amazing. It's... It's an expansive world, Logan. It's an open world on my phone. It even has PvP with 50 versus 50 players, Logan. I want to live there, Logan. I want to be in the game. Well, I mean, if you really want to be in the game that bad, have you ever thought about rewinding the transporter into the world of the game? You're talking about a backwards compatible transportation wire. Ed. My god, it might be possible, Logan. I could be in Lineage 2. I mean, look, I already have my character, Papa Jake, in the game. We could be doing quests, roaming the world. Me and you, we could play together. We could do it, Logan. We could do it. I think I've rewired the transporter. Logan, we are gonna go into Lineage 2 Revolution. I mean, I've never been through the transporter before, but you say it's safe. I'm ready to go into the game. Putting in the coordinates now. See you on the other side, buddy. Oh. Whoa. We did it. We made it. We're in the game. We're in Lineage 2 Revolution. Oh, hello there, young travelers. You look to be new to this part of our land. Yeah, we, we are new to this land. Sorta. Welcome, I am Master Mage, Barnabeard. You look as though you might be in need of some quests and gold. A quest? Dude's just like in the game. Yes, you see our land has been ravaged. A dragon has come to our village. Oh, that, no, that, that really sucks. Like, like a big dragon, like the one that breathes fire and stuff. He's been terrorizing the townspeople. Not even the children are safe from his tyranny. But you, young warriors, you look like you might be able to help us. We'll do it. We'll kill the dragon. We got him. It's easy. Perhaps not with that armor and gear. Low level as it appears. We can fight a dragon. We can fight a dragon. He's like, like, yay high? We don't have any swords or armor, but like, we can make that stuff pretty easy. We'll accept your quest. Well, if you're looking to defeat the dragon and save our town, you'll definitely need some better gear and a level up for sure. I'll tell you what. I'll give you some quests that'll help you level up. In doing so, you'll get ever closer to defeating the dragon. If you're going to defeat the dragon, you'll need to enhance your armor in the forge. I have this. This should buy you enough enhancements to your armor to be able to defeat the dragon. Although, you'll need to complete some quests before I give it to you. Each quest you complete will earn you a gem. Gems? That's it? I was thinking more like a hundred gold. At least. Just go with the gems, man. Each gem will fit into my book. Upon completion of all three quests, you'll be given the enhancement token for the forge. Your first quest is quite simple. The townspeople are in need of shelter. The dragon has destroyed our village. Although the dragon has enemies. The dragon does not like water. Which is why I'll need you to build a castle on the water for us. Well, lucky for you, you just ran across the two best box fort builders this world's ever seen. Build it for the villagers so we can regroup and discuss our plans to take down the dragon. We'll make your castle. I accept your quest. Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Papa Jake here from Team Bivany and we are back with a brand new video and today guys We are doing another awesome medieval box for build you guys have seen us do it before we did the castle But now we're doing a floating box for castle We're also gonna be making box for armor and a bunch of other stuff to complete the quests But as you guys heard we have a list of quests to do if we're gonna fight this dragon There is a dragon ravaging the villages, but you guys know Papa Jake dabs on all the dragons So we got to start off by building this box for it before we build this awesome floating castle. We need our floating so we got two of these bad boys to use. Number one, coming in. Awesome. Three, two, one. 
Sweet. Now we can start building. So we got both of our floaties stacked on top of each other to give us maximum flotation. Now all we have to do is start building this castle. But before we do that, guys, I want to give a big thanks to Lineage 2 Revolution made by Netmarble. Those guys were so awesome to sponsor this video and help us build this amazing box for it. We're going to have some gameplay later on, but I did want to let you guys know that if you check out the link in the description down below, you can pre-register to Lineage 2 Revolution for when it's launched. And if you guys do that, you'll receive an exclusive hero starter pack full of gems, armor, plus you get to reserve your name in game. Like I already did, I got my Papa Jake name in there and you get an exclusive title for your character. So go check that out, but we'll have more on this later. Also guys, while we're setting this up, I had this awesome idea. I was telling Logan, I was like, dude, people have said it, Logan, I feel confident enough that we can do a two-story floating box for it. So I have a challenge for you guys. If we can get 100,000 likes on this video right now, we will do a two-story floating box for it in our next video. We'll make it happen some way, somehow. It's time for a time lapse and us to get building. We just finished doing the floor of the castle. It is coming along looking great. Now we gotta work on the walls and we have to have a big door at the front so people can get in. And guys, keep in mind, this thing has to survive a drag. We're building this as part of the quest for the townspeople. Luckily, you got the two best box store builders ever here. We've been working on this now for a little while and the castle is coming along looking awesome. We have all the walls done as well as the flooring done. Now all we have to do is the roof as well as put in some of the castle features. Once that's done, we can set her up in the water and she's good to flow. But right now you might notice it doesn't look so much like a castle. So we got two things we have to do. One, we have to cut our awesome castle door. Next up is the fun part. We got to make the castle door. So we're going to be using this rope so that we can pull the castle door up once we're inside and floating on the water. All right. So Logan's going to be cutting the castle door here. Then we're going to be attaching the rope. So go for it, Logan. Master door cutter, Logan. Put a hashtag master door cutter down below. You know, in case that dragon comes, we pull up the ropes and then we will jump up into our turret spot and start shooting it with our bow and arrows. This dragon's got nothing on Papa Jake. Logan found this from one of our previous videos. We have another one, but we think we're gonna use these. These are like tiki torches, so we can actually have like real torches on the castle. Oh. Cause you guys know back in the day, they didn't have electronics. Hopefully it works. We've got our two torches attached to the castle. It is looking awesome. Of course, guys, don't forget, do not try this at home because having fire around a box for it can be extremely dangerous. So if you do have some of these lying around, don't do this. Next up, we're gonna have two pillars on the tops that we can shoot out of and make it look like a real castle. Then once that's done, we've completed our quest. We've got all our turrets up there, which you can actually look out of and shoot with the bow and arrow. We've got our awesome castle door here, which comes up and down. This isn't just a normal castle. This is a floating castle. So this is going to go in the water. And this is where all the villagers are going to survive from the dragon, as well as us when it comes to attack. All right, time to put this thing in the water. We got the torches lit. Let's do this. Oh, you've completed your first quest. That took a lot of work, but we did it. We made your castle. We took all of your people and put it in it. They're safe as can be. Oh, we did it. As I promised, your reward, your first gem. So what's our next quest? Ah, it looks like you've ranked up as well. Your next quest is quite simple. You'll need to train your endurance and abilities, starting with precision. You've been tasked with archery. Okay, wait, wait, hold, hold up, hold up, pause, pause. All right, all right. Are you sure this guy's just not running us around, talking the dragon? The, the, the people, the villagers. I mean, he's given us gems. We don't even know if that thing's real. I don't know if I like this guy. He seems all right to me. I know I want to fight the dragon. Unpause. Go to the archery range and practice your skills. Once you've leveled up, come back to me. Shouldn't be a problem for us. We're good at it. So it looks like our next challenge is archery. We got to perfect our archery skills to attack the dragon when it comes to, well, try and attack us. So. We're gonna be making an archery target out of cardboard and me and Logan are gonna be having a challenge. So we're gonna be practicing our aim and seeing which one of us is gonna be wielding the bow and arrow for when the dragon comes and attacks. If Logan beats me, he'll get the bow and arrow. If I win, I'll get the bow and arrow. Let's do this and let's complete this quest. Now, I think I'm better than Logan. In fact, I know I'm better than Logan. Whoever hits closest to the target wins. You ready? First shot. Burn! Ooh. Oh. <laughs> That's all right, that was my warm up shot. Second shot here. Oh, Ooh, all right, all right, all right. So like two outside shots. Last shot, here we go. Can he do it? Fair! Oh no, <laughs> complete miss. Oh, looks like I got a good shot. Let's see if you can beat me with the bow and arrow. Well, you know, they do call me Legolas. You think you're better than me, bro? I know I'm better than you. All right, let's see it. 
<laughs> oh, that's almost worse than a miss. Oh, okay. I think I just won. Alright, alright. Oh, okay, okay. But wait, Papa Jake's about to hit that bullseye. Alright, all or nothing, Papa Jake bullseye, eyes closed. Okay, I'm gonna get the aim on, okay, and bullseye! Oh, looks like you've completed your second quest. Your reward is in order. Your second gem. Only one quest left before your token. In order to defeat the dragon, you will need armor. You must build your armor. Once this is completed, you will have your token and can enhance it in the forge. With that, you can then defeat the dragon. So I've been working on the chest piece now for a little while and it's coming along looking awesome. So I think I'm gonna do like a red design on top of it to show that it's like some really awesome exotic armor. This is gonna be my box fort helmet. I'm gonna modify this into a really cool medieval style helmet. So I think next up we'll work on this and then we'll get to the sword and shield. Check it out, I just finished making the box four armor helmet and this thing looks sick. I went for a kind of a different design than we did in our previous videos where we did box four armor. But this thing is awesome and I think I'm gonna go with the same kind of color scheme for the chest armor as well. But before we do that, I think it's time to work on my favorite part, the weapons. <laughs> This is the weapon that we're gonna be using. I went for something different. I didn't do a regular sword. It's kind of like a two-handed sword, but it looks sick. It's got the metal tips at the end on both sides so it can attack from this side and this side. Next up, we have to work on our shield and then we can put it all together. Here is my shield. It's got the Papa J logo on the front. It's got the awesome detailing on the sides. With all of this armor, I've been going with a really cool detail using all the cardboard and construction paper together. I want to know, do you guys like this? Do you guys think it's really cool when we use construction paper to make it like colorful and really awesome? I think it's cool. So if you guys think we should do more with construction paper, let us know down below. Say use more construction paper because this just looks sick. You look awesome, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm ready to fight this dragon. Let's do it. Looks like you've completed your third quest. Well, as promised, your last and final reward. The last gem. Now, for your true reward. Your forge token. You'll use this to enhance that armor of yours into something worthwhile. But remember, fighting this dragon will take all of your strength. When I first met you, you were young adventurous. But now it's time for your true destiny. Dude, we got the token. Time to upgrade this. Three. Two, one. Oh, dude! Bro, oh, look at this weapon and the shield! Destroy that dragon and free our land. Twelve seconds later. Jake, what are you doing? I'm just playing some Lineage 2 Revolution, bro. But Jake, the dragon is attacking the castle. What? The dragon's here? For me to fight it's time for me to take down this dragon once and for all we've been in this world for long enough i have power now i will defeat this dragon and rescue these people i'm ready to take on this dragon let's go dragon it's time for you to die Man to man, dragon. It's go time. Jake, I got your back. You've weakened it. All right, let's do this. We've got one of its wings. It's got a weak spot on the left side. The spear's stuck inside. Hit it again. Nice, you hit it in his head. All right, it's looking pretty weak. I think it needs one final blow. I got this. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. I think we got him. I think we killed the dragon. Looks like I've defeated the dragon. He's a pretty hard enemy, but we did it. Guys, I want to thank every single last one of you for checking out this video. Now we're going to have some gameplay of Lineage 2 Revolution. Again, big thanks to those guys for helping us set up this awesome video. We destroyed a dragon, made a floating box for a castle, 
and much more. Thank you so very much, Hat and Papa Jake. Stick around for some gameplay, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys, so we're back, and we're gonna be playing some Lineage 2 Revolution made by Netmarble. If you guys have been watching this video, you know that this is all based on this game, and I've been having so much fun playing this game. Big shout out to these guys for having us do this video because we love medieval stuff, and this is an amazing MMORPG for your mobile phone. I mean, I can't get over it. I honestly, I don't know how it works. There's some magic going on in my phone right now that's making this game run because it looks beautiful. Check this out, guys. So it is a full MMO, and basically you can play with other players online, complete quests, level up, rank up your character. And right now I got my dude here. Uh, he is a level 10 rogue, and I'll, I'll show you guys what he looks like here. He looks pretty cool. I mean, he's not he's not super beasty, but he looks good. You know, I, I think our, our box fort armor was a bit better, although his sword is pretty sweet. So uh, I've been playing for a little while now and having a bunch of fun. So I thought we'd play a little bit of gameplay. And like I said, guys, Check the link in the description down below to pre-register for Lineage 2 Revolution and receive some exclusive in-game offers such as the Hero Starter Pack full of gems, armor, and other loot. Plus, you get to reserve your in-game name. Again, links will be down below. Um, but we've been doing some quests, and so far, I've been, you know, fighting orcs, fighting people. It's got a really cool storyline to it, and I don't want to give away too much. You definitely have to check it out, but these, these guys are beating the You know, I'm just going to fight these orcs. Yo, what's up, Mr. Orc? Yo, get over here, bro! Dude, it's so sick the graphics like I cannot get over it. Also, check out this. We got all these powers I've unlocked like some of the powers. I still got some like, you can see in the the bottom right hand corner I've got, still got some I got to unlock um, But so far, you know, I, I think I, I think I'm doing pretty well my character here We got Papa Jake games lock and loaded. He looks pretty cool, too I got to customize him at the start as well changes like hair and outfit and the way that he looks which is pretty awesome um, Also, oh we got new equipment I'm gonna equip. Oh, dude, I don't think I've ever gotten a ring before. Hold on, I'm gonna equip this ring. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the equipment section here. So the one of the cool things, which you guys might have seen from the video, is that you get equipment, but you can upgrade it in the forge. So you guys saw my first pair of box fort armor. You know, it wasn't that great. It wasn't that awesome. But like in the game, we went to the forge. We leveled it up. You get to pick some stuff to level it up with. And let's see here. Let's let's do. I can select a bunch of basically this is other equipment that I picked up and I can select a bunch of it and use these old items and basically get rid of them and level up my main item so let's do this all here and we're gonna go put them in oh yeah check it out guys BAM combat power raise we got a brand new suit here my dude's still looking fly. I love it. Still gonna get some BC armor on him, but anyway. Um, the other cool part about this game is that it has an auto quest system. So you can actually click this button and it'll start auto questing for you and bring you to the characters that you can talk to, as well as help you complete the quests. Uh, it doesn't do everything for you. You can still die if you're not paying attention, but it's a really nice feature if you're jumping back in the game or kind of like, where do I go? Um, also, like I said, the story's really good. I'm a huge MMO fan and the story in this is awesome. You guys will absolutely love the world that this game's based in. In. Um, but I got a skill to unlock, so let's let's activate this. There we go. Oh, we got some we got some skills. All right, let's see what we got here. You can acquire SP by raising your character's level and playing consistently. All right, let's level up some skills. All right, sweet. So this is my first skill, Energy Blast. I got that when I started the game, but I guess we're gonna level up, and make it even stronger. So let's pick this bad boy, level him up. There we go. Oh, I even got a cheap for that. Um, all right. And got some new skills leveled up. Oh, we got some passive skills in level too. What? So Yo, check it out. Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention this. Uh, you can be more than just a human. You can be like an elf and other different races. I chose human because I kind of liked it. I thought it looked like me a little, little bit, like just a little bit. Also, this game does have really awesome PvP with 50 versus 50 battles. I'm not gonna be playing that today, but we're gonna be doing a follow-up video on this, and we'll definitely check out some PvP. But today, it's all about fighting the bad guys. Oh, I did get the ring here, so the ring is equipped right now, so we can actually upgrade that as well but that's gonna give me some extra stuff here so i'm gonna keep that ring on all right bro let's see what you got next click back on auto questing claim my reward i got avadon boots sweet my dream they're coming again i thought we'd but i could do all the voices for this all right let's do this they're coming they're gonna f attack us i'm gonna accept this quest to defeat the orcs let's go we're gonna take them down shattered lands oh dude <laughs> the new upgrade for this skill is beastie i'm like one hitting every orc this is crazy I don't think they even got a hit on me. They didn't get a single hit on me. Yo, you know your beast went. And you guys can see down there, I have it set to auto questing, which is sweet because it shows me where to go and it'll also show me when my quest is done. But you can just turn that off if you want to run around and do it yourself, which I kind of like to do. I've been playing with mostly without auto questing, unless I get kind of confused or don't know where to go. Uh, it helps out. Like right now, if I'm like, where do I go? I just click it and bam, he goes to the right guy. Orc Maradas, can you handle him? Our victory depends on it. Bro, I got this, man. 
You know me. All right, let's do this without auto questing this time. I'm gonna use my skills. I'm gonna come in with the flash. <laughs> Yo, I'm one hitting these dudes, <laughs> bro. This is actually insane. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh god, oh god. All right, we can come back here. I'm gonna slice this guy up. Oh, is that? I think that's another player actually. Oh, it's Troy. What's up, Troy? How's it going, man? Troy actually looks pretty sweet. Some of the uh, other players that I've seen have like some really sweet armor, so I'm excited to rank up and get some of that new armor. Because, you know, like, my guy looks good right now, but he could definitely use an upgrade. Oh, I got gifts for reaching level 5? I didn't know that. Dude, look at this. I'm just, like, finding out new gifts and stuff that I'm getting. Oh, level 15 is next. All right. We definitely need to get to level 15 so I get some more gifts. That's what I want. Oh, here we go. So I actually found the uh, the menu here. This is where we can go to the dungeons. I don't think I can do the dungeons yet. Oh, I can do the daily dungeon. So let's enter the daily dungeon on... Let's do easy. Let, let, let's keep it at easy just, just for today. And we'll check it out. We'll uh, we'll fight this guy. I did the one yesterday. It was pretty fun. So we'll do the daily dungeon. And Papa Jake will prove to all you that I am the master. Oh, that guy's really big. <laughs> that guy's really big. He's a bit bigger than the dragon we fought. And a bit scarier. And he's got a big wheel on his back. He's really intense. <laughs> he's so intense. He's so mad. All right. All right. Let's do this. You know what? You, you can't. Oh, did I kill him? Did I already beat him? I beat him. Bro, that's why you don't mess with me. What's up? What's up? Okay, we probably could have done hard. <laughs> we probably could have done hard. I like one hit of that dude. I was like, nah, not not in my not in my place right there. That's that's not where you come at me. All right, sweet. So we got that done. We got our daily reward. That is awesome, guys. So basically, I think this is where I'm gonna end off this brief kind of gameplay commentary video to check out this game. And like I said earlier, guys, check the link in the description down below to pre-register for Lineage 2 Revolution and receive some exclusive in-game offers such as the Hero Starter Pack full of gems, armor, and other loot. Plus, you get to reserve your in-game name. So go check it out, guys. Again, links in the description down below. Make sure you use those links. It helps us out a lot. And uh, again, thank you so very much for watching this video. We'll see you guys next time for another awesome video. Bye guys.